Like, would we do this, confessional Christian? Lover of Jesus, would you do this with other things? I'm waiting. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard. And, man, we got some corruption. Mmm, just so good. Just love it. Coming up next. All right. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, I've been looking at guide post things from the SBC sex report, sex abuse report task force. And um, I'm an SBC pastor. And don't worry, we're not woke. That's our new tagline. But I'm just, I'm, I'm very um, angry annoyed even now i'm not normally nervous when i do shows and i'm a little nervous i'm a little just perturbed a little frustrated uh a little sick to my stomach maybe it's just you know vomit bubbling up i'm not sure we'll see what i'm talking about um but the sex abuse task force was voted on last year in nashville overwhelmingly overwhelmingly said hey we need an external thing At Nashville, SBC conference. Each year there's a convention. People, churches send messengers. This is basically a big business meeting. And as Baptists, we have the polity to do this. We don't just listen to the Pope or listen to the general council or the this or the that or that board or these whoever's. It's, It's people, everyday Christians, professing Christian, who want to have a meeting and make changes to do things, et cetera, et cetera. Shake hands, kiss babies, that whole stuff. So not really, but anyway, so last year, Nashville, Hey, there's a lot of sex abuse stuff. There was an article in 2019, Houston Chronicle, and there was Chronicle 10 churches. And over the years, there's been instances of people who have complained about sex abuse or my youth pastor or my main pastor he did this or i t- or he touched me or you know this guy's a woman womanizer uh he he raped me and so on and so forth and so so many complaints that we now know from this report were just fell on deaf ears that's heinous that's wicked it really is uh because you know if it's one or two things and you could see well that person's not really trustworthy you know it's boy who cries wolf mm. You know, we'll, we'll see, you know, cause we all have those people in our lives or have had those people, or maybe you were that person and you just, you play the victim and let's be real here. There's plenty of women in the world who play the victim, plenty of guys too. But if you can get a little bit, I mean, we just see this with the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial, right? I didn't really follow it at all. Of course it was a joke. And anytime I watched clips of it, I was like, what is going on? I don't even know. But you know, defamation lawsuit. I'm not going to get into it, but basically from what I can tell is Amber Heard's, you know, playing the victim. And yet she was the one who was the aggressor and, you know, abused Johnny uh, Depp and other things. I almost said Johnny Hunt. Uh, (laughs) Maybe she did too. Anyway. So women lie, right? Women, women lie just like men do. And, you know, you say that and you think, Oh, you're a patriarch. And it's like, shut up, just shut up. But we've believed so much second wave feminism into the church that it's just completely soaked every orifice and crevice and little ounce of the church. We're second wave feminists without even knowing it. Uh, you know, oh, I'm this, I'm this, you know, and we soften this and do this. Not the world. The world now has no idea what a woman is, right? So they're on their way to fourth wave feminism. Um, we won't get into those either. I know I'm straying a little bit. The point is, we had guidepost a company who I assume was reputable. I assume would be, you know, run by Christians or at least common sense Americans, people who love the truth. And you know what? Maybe they do. It's, it's almost humorous, the amount of things that the enemy tries to take and manipulate and turn on, on its head and make it good. Like the rainbow, right? The rainbow was the promise from God to never flood the earth again. So we can take the rainbow back. It's, you know, we'll have it back eventually. Um, They're just borrowing it or really stole it. 
anyway. So the LGBT stuff, and I stop at T because it's madness otherwise. I don't even say plus because it's just why. I mean, I remember when it used to be just LGB. In fact, I want to say I remember when it was GLB because they used to have gay first, but gay is men. And that means you're putting men first, patriarchy. So let's put the L first for lesbian. You know, they can never. And and the problem is they can never satisfy their own ravenous desires, right? They can, you can never get enough. That's why they have the Q now. That's why they have the plus. But then there's also, you see IA, sometimes you see IAA, sometimes you see uh, uh, another Q, another A, another P, like LGBT. But let's look at this here. If you all remember this, this is from Meme the Left, a uh, YouTube account. Meme the Left. We remember this. This is a San Francisco men's choir, right? From a couple years ago. Let's just play this and see. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. And here's this here. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Forgot about that. Kids are being taken to drag shows, strip clubs, things like this. Kids. Now, there used to be a limit that you had to be 21 or 18 uh, to go to this. And now they take field trips to children with children. There's a Florida teacher who complained about, you know, the Florida bill, and he can't share his life, quote unquote, with his five-year-old children. There's a preschool teacher up in New England somewhere, I think Connecticut, uh, who was thankfully fired using flashcards, A, B, C, D, and it had a pregnant man and a rainbow flag. They're indoctrinating our children. And you say that five years ago, even people are like, oh, just don't be such a bigot. Don't be so hateful. Just be loving. Well, it's loving to tell the cancer patient who doesn't know they have cancer that they have cancer, isn't it? If somebody has cancer and you tell them they don't and they say, well, why do I feel like this? And you say, I, I, I think it's just probably stress. You just need to get some more sleep. Now, sleep is good. And we all need probably more sleep. That's probably not going to cure your cancer, though, is it? But you go home. You do you. You do you. If you don't feel like you have cancer... Guess what? You don't. But these people don't live in reality. That doctor would would or should be fired (laughs) these days. There's doctors that are mutilating children, and they're not fired. Both in the womb and out of the womb. So, hard to really say. But, this is this here. So this is a, it's a clip. So it's the San Francisco Men's Choir, the guy singing just at the front. And then there's this drag show. Thankfully, there's no nudity. I guess. I mean, it's still so wicked, so heinous, and so evil. Okay, this little girl literally just tipped this stripper, who's either a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Probably a dude. Just this once, you're correct. What is wrong with people? Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's go. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. That's enough. I'm sorry. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, you'll barely notice it. Is that not what's happening? Is that not now millennials? I think it's like 38%, 39% of the statistic somewhere who identifies LGBTQ. Now there's the Q means either queer or questioning. So again, they can't even get their own terms right. This is this this isn't about bemoaning somebody or being quote unquote mean. The the fact of the matter is you have a worldview that sucks. It's an evil worldview that will end in destruction. Okay, I mean, it's beyond sucks. It's evil. But the amazing news is, despite your constant rebellion, 
and constant disobedience, not just in sexual immorality, but lying, uh, theft, adultery, all sorts of other sexual immorality. Such were some of you, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6. Were some of you. So why am I showing you this ridiculous, heinous action of adults abusing children, literally abusing children, by forcing them to sit at a drag queen strip show? Not just drag queen story hour. And here's the thing. A couple years ago, it was drag queen story hour, right? Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, just have a different perspective. Just a little different. We just get to have the children just sit with a guy who's just like, you know, a clown. And read some books? Oh, well, can I come read the Bible to the children? Oh, you hateful bigot, how dare you? Do not ever bring the Bible up. But yeah, reading, you know, Billy has two dads or two kings or two queens or this or that, whatever. All the agenda that's been happening for 20 years. Well, again, why am I bringing this? What's what's up with, why, why Guidestone or Guide, Guidestone? That's the financial thing for the SBC. Guy Post. Well, let's look. Lovely Twitter. You got to love Twitter. Um, it's, a, it's a treasure trove. Oh, what's this? Guy Post with a rainbow. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Must be at SBC Underground. Uh, huh. Is this, this, this isn't the same. This is just a, this is a coincidence, though, right? This is not the, the guidepost solutions task force that just did the SBC sex abuse thing that's talking about pedophilia and child abuse, right? This isn't, this isn't the same one, Right? Oh, friends. Oh, naive ones. Oh, simple-minded. How you love being simple-minded. Just, just, why not? Why not? Here, let's just look at this. Oh, wisdom cries aloud in the street. In the markets, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the city of the gate, she speaks. How long, oh, SBC simple ones, elites at the top, pandering to the world, saying the world is watching, squishy, mi mushy, middle, big Eva? Will you love being simple? How long? Elites, platform, will scoffers delight in their scoffing, and fools hate knowledge. If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called you, and ref you refuse to listen. I have stretched out my hand, and no one has heeded it. Now, that's specifically talking about wisdom. Now, we see wisdom personified oftentimes, especially in the first few chapters of Proverbs. How long will you be simple-minded? Of course, it's rhetorical. Don't be simple-minded. Or as I like to say, don't be an idiot. Like, I didn't vote for this in Nashville. Okay? I didn't vote for an organization that is LGBTQIA plus affirming. See how annoying that is? You can't, you can't have like more than four letters in an acronym. It just does not work. Three is better. We'll convert your children. So, okay, so this gay man, so, you know, button it all up. This gay man is saying, we'll convert your children. And that's true. He says that's true. They admit it. Now, they got a lot of backlash. Well, not every gay man, okay, except for even in that choir, there were multiple pedophiles, convicted pedophiles. So this is where it leads. And this is where I heard one guy say recently, the plus is about children. And what do we see now in the last couple of years? The raging from Disney. About the can't say gay bill, which is in, in the bill. It's just, you know, classic marketing. And, you know, you can't talk about sex until fourth grade. Oh, yippee skippy. Fourth grade. Wow. How about you don't talk about sex at all? How about you let that to the parents? But when these children have broken homes, 
divorce. Of course, this goes back further. It's not just same-sex marriage in 2015. This goes back to divorce. This goes back to abortion of 73. This goes back to multiple other accounts of sexual immorality. In the last 20 years, we see this onset, and here's the elephant in the room, pornography. Pornography twists your brain. If you're using pornography, stop it. Seriously. Memorize Proverbs 5, 6, 7. And generally, it's guys. Sometimes it's girls. I know guys guys struggle with it more. Excuse me, more. Stop it. It's wicked. It's heinous. You're never going to stop it until you just literally stop it. Get an accountability partner, whether it's your wife, whether it's a guy at church. Hey, text me. Let me know. Seriously. I've got my email on my YouTube channel. It's in the about. You need to stop. Because it not only messes with and drags you down to the pit, but it also actually changes your brain. Physically. So this man, again, will convert your children, right? Will convert your children. Here he is here. We'll convert your children. And you're right. It's unchecked, he says. And for this one time, you're right. This one time. Oh, this one time. Well, here's the thing. We're always right when we're on God's side, right? We're always concerned about, oh, the right side of history. I want to be on the right side of history. You know, we just want to get married, they said, right? Cute. This is literally, you know, to use the parlance, the Trojan horse, right? It's just there. Hey, a gift. Oh, let's bring it in. There's probably nobody inside. They're not going to come and murder us in our sleep. Slit our throats as we rest for the night. Right. So, drag queen story hour guidepost is about this. Again, what are they doing? Guidepost is committed to strengthening diversity, equality, equity, and inclusion. It strives to be an organization where our team can bring authentic selves to work and celebrate collective progress towards equality. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Well, so somebody said, and there's a few people on Twitter and other things and responded to my comment. Well, you just blah, blah, blah. You just Disney shop at Target. Yeah, I don't shop at Target. And I don't go to Disney anymore. Disney sucks. Not only is it crazy expensive, but they're literally out in the open. Now, we've known this for a while. and they, We've known they've been corrupt for decades, really. At least I have. And you just have to be willing to pay attention. But the old guard, the old house that we used to live in is gone, folks. It's gone. It's burnt down, right? 1950s America isn't coming back. 1920s America isn't coming back. 1870s America isn't coming back. So take the ashes that are here and build a new foundation on Christ and his word. That's what we need to do. Levi's, Home Depot, Apple. Some of these companies you can avoid. A lot of them you can avoid. Not all of them, unfortunately. But this is why we need other companies to come up. You don't need to shop at Starbucks because they're woke, although they seem to be a little less so lately, I guess, in the last few years, at least from what I'm seeing. But that's what some people, oh, it's it's no different. Yes, it is different. These people are literally, I mean, would you have a pedophile babysit your children or leave your alcoholic uncle alone with a case of vodka? No. And if you did, you'd be stupid. That's dumb and careless, and reckless, and you're not helping them at all. So you have this organization that affirms LGBT stuff, which is grooming children, taking them to drag queen story hour, strip clubs, and multiple other things. Remember, we all remember Pizzagate, remember that? Politicians. I mean, there's all sorts of other wicked things that are rumors and echoes of this secret society and this club and this thing. Remember all the crap with Hollywood? few years ago, several years ago, Corey Feldman and this guy, of course, Michael Jackson. Remember all this 10, 15 years ago? I do. And that's just all kind of swept under the rug. Yet Harvey Weinstein, oh, he's a bad guy because he's, you know, he's molesting full women, adult women. No. Again, does that get out of the either or? Okay. Harvey Weinstein, evil, doing evil things. Michael Jackson, evil, doing evil things. The men who were abusing Corey Feldman and his, you know, 10, 12-year-old male actors and female, but usually it was male. Evil. Also, they're all in the same camp. Don't say, what. oh, you just think this. Oh, you just think that. You just shop at Target. No, I don't. 
No, we don't. Even Walmart is woke in certain respects. Sometimes you can't avoid it. I understand that. But this is why we have to build a new economy. This is why we have to build a parallel. And if you're on Gab, which I am, uh, it's Genesis 317 if you, if you want to follow me there. That's all about that. And parallel economy, building and building. Because this is nonsense. You literally have zero credibility now. Zero. None. Zero. Because, again, I, I mean, I, I hope everybody's tracking, right? You have this organization that's fine with men and men getting married. Men and men getting married. Women and women getting married. Which all the outworkings of that is pedophilia. The end result is pedophilia. Because there's, uh, I'll save it. There's a lot there. But the end result is pedophilia. We'll convert your children. They're after the children. You hear it right here. And then we see the drag queen story, Arab. Hello. I mean, if you don't sit, if you don't see this and you have a problem with what I'm saying, you need to repent. You're the one who's supporting this and you're the simple-minded one of Proverbs 1. Don't be the fool. Don't be an idiot. Stop it. And this is the good news. You can repent of that idiocy and you can turn to Christ. Maybe you've you are in Christ, but you're wandering in sin and you're being squishy in the last few years. And you're listening about, you know, J.D. Greer, who was, by the way, painted, which I renege, painted well. And also Russell Moore painted well in this report. And but what does Russell Moore say? And especially J.D. Greer. Well, God seems to whisper about sexual sin, but, you know, he screams about pride and envy and this. And really, huh? What if there's a connection there? Because Russell Moore, I watched an article, an article, an interview yesterday. And he was talking about how he was the kind of person who started this whole thing, or at least called for it. Hmm. So Russell Moore called for this. Do you think he had some sort of influence on who to use? Hey, use this guidepost place. They're LGBT. They're neutral. That's a lie. There is no neutrality. It's a lie. The myth, we see this probably more and more, the myth of neutrality. It's a lie. You're either worshiping Christ and you're walking in him, and at some maturity level, you've acknowledged that you're a sinner, and he's a great savior. You're a great sinner. He's a great savior. He's made all things. The world works in a certain way. Or you don't believe that, and you're rejecting it, even if it's quiet, even if you live in a house all by yourself, and you don't ever bother anybody. You don't have anything, nothing on Twitter, nothing on Facebook, nothing on anything. You're just rebelling against your creator quietly, or any other manifestation. That's it. There's no third way, folks. There's no third way. So to have <coughs> Guidepost do this is ridiculous and stupid. I didn't vote for this. I didn't know they were doing this. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I'm the average guy, but I pay attention because I do stuff like this. Think about all the other tens of thousands of people who voted for this and other uh, Southern Baptists in general who are like, oh, yeah, that's fine. You're going to have a pedophile babysit your kids? No. Right? Or as the old phrase goes, have the fox guard the hen house? No. No. Of course, you would not do that with real life. <gasps> what? You wouldn't be shocked. And yet somehow we have this LGBT affirming. Because even if they were affirming, they don't have to put the stupid rainbow up. But they did. Oh, we're about inclusion and equity. Not equality anymore. Equity. It means the equality of outcome. It means regardless of how you work, you should get the same pay. You should get the same job. You should get the same everything. Well, that's a lie. That's how the world works. That's not how it works. And thankfully, because that's not how it works, you can continue to fight against it just like we continue to fight against gravity. But gravity is gravity, regardless of how you like it or don't like it. I would be pissed, by the way. I would be pissed if I was a, a survivor. Because now, for me, everything is into question in this almost 300-page report. Maybe not about you, but for me. And I get my view, and this is my show. Deal with it. But drop me a comment. Tell me, does this pull into question everything or some things about this review? Is Johnny Hunt really a corrupt liar? I don't know now. How am I, who am I supposed to trust? Because this guy's been in ministry for X number of years. I know, I'm waffling. I don't like to do that. Because I hate being lied to. Do you like being lied to? Do you like being hoodwinked? I don't. Not at all. And shame on these people. Wickedness, rebellion, and sinful disobedience. And further still, shame on the SBC leaders. Who approved this? The frick, man.
Who approved this? I didn't. Yeah, let's have these people over here. Right? You're going to go to Joe Biden for theological advice or Donald Trump? Uh, uh No. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. But these guys, he's going to be your pastor, though. No. Like, would we do this, confessional Christian? Lover of Jesus? Would you do this with other things? I'm waiting. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. And yet we have this myth of neutrality, this lie that these people, I mean, you don't, that doesn't mean we should have had the executive committee investigate itself. That's not what I'm saying. Have another company do it. Certainly there were other companies that could have done this. Certainly. We live in an open market, a capitalistic, it's capitalism, it's capitalism. a capitalistic society where there's these people and these people, and they compete. That's what capitalism is. Communism is one, one party, one rule, you know, one type of food, one type of this, one type of car, etc. Hope you found this helpful. I really do. Um, please like and share. Give me that three piece special, as they say, and uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, and give me a comment there too. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you later. Oh, and be against the world for the world because the world is passing away. But fear not, I have overcome the world. Our Lord Jesus says.